Hi, Dwayne Duggan, Remax Boulder Video Podcaster. We have DB today. Thanks for being with us here, DB, to for having me. talk about our stats for the uh, end of February here. The real estate market is still hot. <laughs> what I hear, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Boulder County single family first. Yeah, and we're only talking about January. Okay. So, what I would caution everybody is that because it's only one month, there's a limited amount of data, and so it can swing one way or the other pretty substantially when there's when there's small data points. I think it I think it's a good bellwether, but I I think that it's it's not really going to be representative of the whole year. Right, it starts okay. to heat up as far as listings and everything yeah. within probably the next few weeks. The way it feels like. Anyway. Right. This week, just to change it up a little, I'm start with attached dwellings, and what I, okay. I I think that that's really a good indicator of how volatile just looking at a limited number of data points is. There were only 51 sales in January uh, compared with 41 sales a year ago, but the price points are up almost 36%. Okay, both median and average. Um, median it finished at 360,000 compared with 265 a year ago. So. I actually think that will drop down a little bit. We just happen to have some brand new properties that closed, and I think it's it's kind of influencing. That. And just so. the least, the uh, lesser expensive ones aren't coming on the market yet, maybe. Exactly. Okay. Generally speaking, they'll start coming on. The average sales price is four hundred thirty-four six fifty, uh, and again, that's up from three hundred and twenty a year ago. So. Uh, over a hundred thousand dollars. So again, I, I think it's a good indicator, but I wouldn't expect us to remain at that kind of appreciation for the whole year. Currently, there's 124 properties on the market. That's up from 77 a year ago at this time. So we're, I think we're going the right way as far as inventory goes. But again, that's for all of Boulder County. 52% of those are under contract, so still very indicative of a strong market. Right. The days on the market is rising slightly, and again, I think it's because of the new product that's on the market, um, but that's up over 65 days uh, on the market now. But even with all of this being said, there's only 2.4 months worth of inventory. And again, a stable market we, we think of as being five to seven months of inventory. Anything less than five months is a strong seller's market. Right. And that, again, that's countywide. Countywide. So. Right. Okay, so then turning our attention to single family. Uh, there were 164 sales in the month of January compared with 150 last year. So a bigger data point, but still relatively small when you when we look at it. You know, when we had uh, about 2,750, something like that for all of last year. So 164 is just a real drop in the mm -hmm. market. The inventory is down substantially about 7%, and we only had 446 properties on the market at the end of January, of which 40% were under contract. So again, pretty strong, you know, that's telling you it's a pretty strong market, plenty of buyers out there. Great time to sell if, if you're wanting to do that. The median price is now 582.5. Uh, that's up about 20% from a year ago. And the average price is 684.1. So 684,000, that's, that's getting up there. I would think that after the month of January, that's actually gonna cool down a little bit, maybe down even to 660, something like that. We'll see. Okay. And then uh, we certainly expect plenty of appreciation for the remainder of the year. Then. Okay, and how about uh, interest rates? We all kind of had the fear that things were really gonna shoot up a little bit, but it's really hasn't happened. It, it has not happened. Um, it, it is now about 4.15%. Uh, when you look at it a year ago at 3.87%, it, it's kind of a modest right. uh, rise, about 7%, something like that. But still extremely affordable, extremely uh, low price when you look at the last 45 years, which that average would be about 8.3%. Mm -hmm. So about half that. Right, so that should give us some good strengths for buyers to have a little more buying power because with prices going up and interest rates going up, that really starts right. to exclude a lot of the buyers right. out there. Absolutely. We still uh, don't see a lot of new building going on, certainly within Boulder County. When you get outside of right. the county, uh, it's a little bit stronger. Um, there is some new building going on in Longmont, some new building going on in Erie, even in the Boulder County side. Um, but still inventory-wise, we're 
we're well below our historic norms. Okay, and this will be a big month. I know as the weather's been good, sellers are starting to think about selling at our sales meetings. We yeah. just had a lot more agents talk about listings coming on, so it's yeah. the time of year. So hopefully we'll have some inventory, and maybe some more exciting rises in inventory uh, increases to talk about, so you know, buyers have some options. Well, I think so, that would help everybody, I yeah. really do. Obviously, it's a fantastic time for a seller if they want to sell. Uh, plenty of buyers out there looking, but we could always use more inventory, and, and I think we could absorb that inventory very easily. So, uh, if, if I was if I was thinking about selling, I get pretty serious about it right now. Right, right. DB, any other last minute thoughts on the market? No, I think it's going to be a good one this year again. So I agree. It'll be I agree. interesting to see uh, when we meet again to talk about it 30 days from now. How we're doing? So, okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, Dwayne. Dwayne Duggan, Remax Boulder Video Podcast, signing off.